Hi, it's me again with Corelled All Tips and Tricks. A young lady contacted me. She's got the program by Laser Jump, a Laser Jump Start called Flex It, which is a really good program, and it does all this work for you on a living hinge or a flex hinge. Uh, I've had it for years. I just uh, need to find it on an old computer. And she sent me these two examples, and one, uh, this will kind of work. These are going to cut out, and those are going to cut out, and it would flex. The dog bone, I think it's, well, one, it's way too big. Uh, I just kind of drew one right here, and this is a flex joint that quite possibly would work pretty good. I'd have to go out to the shop and test it. So we're just going to draw one real quick and, and figure out how easy it is. You need to make this quite a bit smaller. That's about what I had. Let's make it a quarter inch tall, 0.25. Now, I'm gonna use a product called, well, not a product, a step and repeat. And I am gonna take a, a line and I am going to have no offset, offset of a quarter of an inch between, you know what, I'm gonna go 0.25. 0.125, an eighth of an inch. So there's my objective. That's my eighth of an inch. And and this is really, it's been a while since I've done a living hinge. You might want to just double, you know, run out to the laser and test that. And now you want to get the dog bone in the middle. And we're pretty close. There we go. And what's so neat about this, we can do the same thing. Now we can point 0.25. We don't need that many dog bones because uh, I had the same amount of number. So we'll just delete the, one thing I like about that, it doesn't group them together. Um, you not a blend, so you don't have to break anything apart. It's already there. And now we need to move these things. Let's just, uh, Let's move them down a quarter or, well, let's just use this. So we're going to select all these, go up here and go no offset. But on this time, we're going to set the spacing between the distance. I'm just going to do like three. So we want the distance to be 1.25. Now, it would be preferable not to have them in the same plane. So let's make our distance one, two, five. Grab these and move them over. And grab these and move them over. We'll just delete these outer two. So now you have the dog bones offset. But if you cut this out, it's all going to fall out. And here's a, I'll tell you what, let's virtually say, say, say delete this so I can do what I want to do. And let's say I'm going to select all this. I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to double select, double click on the rectangle tool. So now I've got a box the size of my flex. But if you cut this out, it's all going to cut out and just be pieces. So what you could do, one thing we could do is take the bones and because that's going to cut around it anyway. And it's going to be, a, I think it's a pretty cool design. And I'm not going to do them all. I'm going to do just, just these first two. But we need to stop it from cutting all the way through on the ends because you've got to have something to keep it together. So I'm just going to take a two-point line, put it on top of that other line, and let's uh, move it down just like point one. See how that looks. Nope, too close to the bone. So we're just going to move it up manually. I'm going to hold down the control button. I just want to leave some spaces. So what I'm going to do is that now I'm going to cut the one of the line that going all the way through of the dog bone. Or that it's not, it's going through the second row of dog bones. Now I can take this line away. And when you see your bounding box, that will cut. These 
this right here will hold it together. So this, I would do a little sample and cut it and you know see if it's not good. I actually probably need to take, you know, do the bottom. I'm gonna hold down the control button and make my bottom a little bit bigger. Eh, not really gonna work. Um, I could take the shape tool and just extend these. I'm not gonna do them all. You, I, th I think you, you'll get the idea. A lot of times when you do the shape tool, it'll actually make them disappear. So let's do like half of them. Now you use that same line. Of course, you'd want them uh, perpendicular and equally apart. And now up here, we cut short the line that goes all the way through, which is this line. So on this one, we're going to cut the other one. We're going to cut that one, that one, which is basically the line that's not close enough to the animal or to the dog bone. And then just take, see, whenever you get your bounty box and it shows too much, my calculator is always, let me get rid of these lines so you get a good imagination. Now, I did not do the bottom, but so this line's going to cut all the way through. And once again, we need to, because uh, if you don't do this, I don't think it'll be strong enough. That should cut out. And one thing you can always do, do just playing around, take the smart fill tool. And you can see that the dog bones aren't, you know, they're solid. Now you would probably want to move this line over a little bit. So you have complete dog bones. And I'd be really curious. I might even say this and finish it and take it out to the shop and then let you know. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.